let's switch gears now and tell a couple stories about this. And by the way, in virtually all cases, this is virtuous. Let me give a couple examples on how this can be virtuous. This is a goalie who just had a ball go by him by his own player. He accidentally mishit the ball, and immediately afterwards, this is what happened. He took the guy, took the ball, put his arm around him, and he probably whispered something like, we're good. That is a form of forgiveness. This is what we want in sport. This is a great gesture. And in forgiveness is not only in that confessional over there, it should loom all around and extend to sport. This is one of the greatest stories in the history of sport. Speaking of perfect games, you guys might remember this. In 2010, notice the big D. Guess what that stands for? I'll slip Detroit in anytime I can. Zamando so Galarraga, he's at the plate instead of his manager, Jim Leland, giving the lineup card to the umpire, Jim Joyce. So what? Right? You could say, so what? The day before this, in a game between the Tigers and the Mariners, Jim Joyce was the first base umpire. Armando Galarraga was pitching a perfect game. He had set down 27, 26 batters in a row. He had one more batter to go at that time to become like the 23rd person in the history of the game to throw a perfect game. He gets the 27th batter, two outs in the ninth inning, to hit an easy ground ball to the first baseman. As you guys know, when the first baseman comes off the bag, the pitcher turns around, runs toward the bag, catches the ball from the first base, and he catches the ball, steps, clearly steps on the base, about a half a step before the runner hits the base. And Jim Joyce goes, safe. And this is exactly, you can look it up on YouTube. Mondo Galarraga went like this. Stood there for a second, smiled, got the ball, and he goes, I got another batter to face. Never said anything, never did anything, was clearly frustrated in a really mild way. The game ended. He was asked about it. He just said that was the call. Of course, on SportsCenter that night, and every TV in the state of Michigan was replaying this, and it was crystal clear. Umpires rarely get uh, such an egregious call, or make such a, a call that was so off. The next day, this picture was taken, he asked Jim Leland, his manager, he goes, can I go give the lineup car to the home plate umpire? Jim Joyce happened, you know, they rotate with each night, right? The umpires do. You go from home to third, third to first, and so forth. And he got rotated to home. He gave him the lineup card. And if I could blow this picture up, you would notice Jim Joyce is crying. And while he is crying, Amando Galarraga puts his hand on him and just pats him. Didn't say a word. That is forgiveness within sport. It's one of the greatest stories ever told, not just in baseball, which happens to be the, God's greatest gift to sport, but it is, the, I think, the greatest story, at least of forgiveness, that we know in sport. And, I'm, and to a degree, I'm hoping you guys are hearing that story for the first time. And by the way, all of that was true and none of it was exaggerated. It's a great story. This happened to involve my f wonderful Detroit Lions by the way, I don't think have won a game since 2010. <laughs> so I should have a plate up here. You can make donations to all the Lions fans and culture just to make us feel a little better. I love when people go, Bengals stink, man. The Browns stink. And I go, you know the Detroit Lions have only won one playoff game since 1957. Look that one up on your little device called a phone. That's absolutely true. They've won one playoff game since 1957. Do I digress? Of course. I just go, want you guys to feel a little sorry for me. <laughs> Again, I, should, I, I was thinking that the screen was going to be, what's happening here is the ball's in the end zone, and the Seattle Seahawk is pushing the ball out. You can't do that. You have to either try to contain the ball, fall on it. You can't push the ball out of bounds. The referee is standing right there, and he goes, yeah, that's legal, and they never reverse the call. And it was just a bad call against the Lions. I'm sure they would have lost the game anyway, but that didn't help. <laughs> and as a fan, and as a fan of the Lions or whoever the bad calls against, and this is a great example, right? One of my biggest frustrations in all of sport is people said, oh, 
you know what? Now they, they're going to review everything. They're never going to get anything wrong. Let me wait for the laughter on that one. How many times? I'm like, he, he didn't catch that ball. You could see it hit the ground. Troy Aikman will go, he didn't catch that ball. The ball hit the ground. Joe Buck will go, yeah, I think you're right there, partner. The ball hit the ground. After further review, the catch was made first down. And you're like, oh my gosh, what are these people looking at? And we have to have forgiveness for them. They're going to make mistakes. It's quite possible you made a mistake at your work too, just yesterday. I'm not judging anybody, I'm just saying. The Catholic Speakers Organization has one goal, educating the world on what the Catholic faith actually teaches in a society that continually twists its truths.